Hey, Connor Powers from DeadRedHitting.com. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick band you can use, or a quick exercise you can use with this little red band to help you work on hip and shoulder separation. All right, and so the drill that I'll do with hitters is I'll have them, uh, basically you're going to put this around shoulder height and have them get a grab right here on this band. You can actually have them wrap it up to here, have them load stride separate, and then what you want them to do is you want them to actually keep their shoulders square and you're going to use a band so they can feel some resistance, have them open their hips here okay if you need to you can stride out a little bit here okay there right there just like they would in their swing all right and this is you know basically a drill that i modeled off of the movements i see in major league hitters and i'll show those to you, one of those to you right now uh, as i'm talking and just being the ability to be able to have hitters open up their hips while their shoulders are staying square is going to be a really big key to helping them create more bat speed create more power in their swing and here's a quick demo from the front. Again, I'm going to load, stride, separate, and make that quick heel drop, hips turn, shoulder square, here, there. And again, the band, you do, this is not a special band. You can really use any band, just a band that has enough resistance for you. These are called pull-up resisted bands. I'll put it in a card if this is on YouTube. Up above, if not, I'll leave it in the video. It's just a link you can go use to go get one of those. Over here, these are some of the, I think these are some of the Jaeger bands. You can also bring these together uh, if you wanted and use those as well. So again, the bands aren't special, but what you wanna do is just be able to use that exercise to help your hitter be able to create more bat speed. Now, if you don't have a band laying around, another thing that you could do is you could take your left elbow, put it up against the L screen here, stride separate, and then turn those hips right here, which is gonna be doing the same thing, which is gonna keep your shoulder more square as you open those hips up, okay? So that's two ways that you can do the exercises. I prefer the band. Another way that you can do this is, you know, without the band, you can just put that elbow up right against there. If you haven't yet, before you leave, make sure you subscribe to this channel. You get updates on all the new videos that I'm posting throughout the off season. It's gonna help you increase bat speed, help you add more power, help you have more consistency, and just be an overall better hitter. Also gonna be posting more mental videos as well, so stay tuned for that. And then finally, every day on my website, I post a daily practice plan for hitters who are trying to become the best they can possibly become. It's for all ages, ages eight to 18. It's called DRH 2.0. If you're on YouTube, there's a card right above this video or inside this video, I should say, that you can click. Go check it out. If you've got any detail or got any questions, you can leave in the comment section below. And of course, you can always email us, email us on the site.